Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Michael from Master Blast. It's a nice early start today on a cold winter's morning. Uh, we're going back to a customer's house which we previously visited to inspect the gutters. They are full of muck and old rotten vegetation which really does need removing as they are suffering uh, leaks and overflowing guttering and downpipes at their house. So we're going to take the gutter vacuum around the whole property, clear everything out and we'll see how much muck we can get out from it. Don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and let's see what we've got. Here we are then, first look at the first gutter. Now this is at the front of the property. As you can see it is really quite badly blocked up and the water is not actually able to freely flow away. Now that instantly got me thinking there must be an issue with the downpipe. Now from this section you can see it actually looks okay, it's not bunged up to the top, but as a matter of course part of the service free of charge we always check the downpipes. Now we can easily clear this section it moves through so easily purely for the fact that uh, a lot of this muck that you can see here has been here for a long time which is why it's all black and sludgy. It's actually the old vegetation which has just degraded and rotted away into this sort of sludge. It gets really quite heavy at this section and this is almost a guaranteed blockage waiting to happen so it's good that we got to the gutter when we did and you'll see in just a moment once we've uh, cleared through the majority of this just how clear it then looks So once we've done a first run through the gutter, clearing out the majority of the muck, we always make a second or even third pass if required, just to make sure that we've got all those little bits which like to sit in the edges at the back and at the very front of the guttering. Now we've moved around just to the other side of the, uh, the small roof there, just so we can reach this last section of the front strip of gutters. Again, it's a similar story as what we saw in the first half. So it's just nicely cleaning them out and making sure there's not going to be any blockages going forward. Now this section is right by the, uh, the front porch and as you can see this gully where it all sorts of builds up in the uh, corner is always a problem. And what you can actually see here is there is some kind of old gutter brush which has been left in, uh, in the gutter from where it's obviously been removed because quite simply they're not really fit for purpose unfortunately. They just tend to uh, hold the muck in and make it very hard to, uh, to remove.
Now we've gone around to the back of the property. This is uh, one side of the one-story garage. Again, really badly blocked up with all that old muck that just sits there and stops the water from flowing away. And the good news with checking the downpipes is that more often than not, I'd say at least nine times out of ten, we're able to clear any blockage that's in there. And that's without even removing the downpipe at all from the wall itself. So we can just suck up all the muck that sits on the inside, quite often just in the bends, and that then frees it up for the water to drain away nicely once the gutters have been cleared. Now this particular property um, doesn't actually have an awful lot of trees around it, so it's quite surprising to see just how much can build up, um, even though it's not surrounded by trees and other vegetation. The biggest issue, of course, is um, the elements, so you've got the wind that blows a lot of muck in, but also the birds and the other wildlife that will go overhead. Um, they'll often drop things on the roof, dislodge things, and things like that, which of course always cause a problem where it rolls down the tiles into the gutter itself. You can quite clearly see here how the water is just standing in the gutter, and it's just not able to move, so once we've got it all cleared out, that's then able to freely flow away once again. So as you can see here, we always make sure that we do at least make that second pass to ensure it is clear and we go section by section. Usually between the clips gives us a very easy way to uh, mark out where we have um, already cleared. As you see it's nice and effective and no single spot gets missed. Now this particular downpipe was tucked underneath the uh, edge of the tiles just here. The good news is, even though it's a very small crevice, still e able to get the uh, nozzle into the uh, downpipe hole. And as you can see there, we always check the pipe, um, which will allow us to feel the air freely rushing up through the pipe so that we know it is in fact clear, ready for that water to flow away. Now the very last of the uh, older bits of the muck that you can see there, the very tiny bits, aren't a concern. Um, final pass will usually of course dislodge the majority of that, but again it being so small it will just wash away with the rain. I'm back again now just at the front of the property for the other side of the garage. It's a similar story as we saw before. Plenty of build up again in this one, which is no good for the downpipes.
Now the muck that was sitting in this particular gutter was much harder to remove than the others, um, mainly because it wasn't quite as wet. Um, but of course the sun shines on this side of the property for the majority of the day, so it does tend to dry out. The problem you have with that is um, the muck and the old vegetation that's decayed there does tend to compact, making it much harder for um, the water to get, you can get through it when it's blocked. Really just shows exactly why it's so important to maintain your gutters at least once a year. This is the final section of the house. Not as bad as uh, a lot of the others. Again, this is on the other side of the, uh, the small roof uh, by the front door. Again, you've got the same problem with the downpipe, getting all the silt and the muck build up inside it. And there we have it, another house clear of all the muck in the gutters, ready for the rest of the wet weather that we'll get through the year. And of course the customer rebooked in for next year for some further maintenance. So thanks again for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to give it a like and a nice thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more similar videos. And of course we hope to see you on the next job.